So this is it, the world number two and world champion against the world number three 25. and Grand Slam champion in the final of Players' Championship 5. Gerwin Price has been playing some really impressive stuff today, and it looks pedestrian compared to some of the stuff that Peter Wright has been chucking. He has been 25. unreal today. He's got a tournament average of more than 105. He's hit 21 bullseye. maximums. Won the bull and, we'll throw and he has just won the bullseye. He has the advantage of throwing first. I'm Dan Dawson talking you through it alongside Chris Murphy. £10,000 on offer to the winner. We will have another new winner on the Pro Tour this year. Five events, four different winners so far, and neither of these guys have won either. 123. Yeah, we have seen some quite incredible stuff over the course of this afternoon from many players. But as you referred to Peter Wright, top of the pile and by a distance as well, he has produced some quite remarkable performances. We've seen loads of massive averages and at the end of the day, I'm pretty sure that this could be a record breaking tournament in terms of tournament average. But Peter Wright was threatening to, to break his own record, record earlier on, 120 average in one match, could have been 125. That match is available to, to view on the 96. PDC YouTube page against Adrian Gray. Catch that after this. But this could be, well, every bit as good in terms of quality, but I imagine that it'll be a lot closer as well. Well, these two met in the semi-finals of the World Championship, of course, and there was uh, some playful banter beforehand where they were both saying, oh, I'm going to win, I'm not even going to let him have a set. So when Peter Wright won the first set and pointed that out to Gerwin Price, he didn't like it. I'm kind of hoping that one of them wins the first leg and reminds the other. Double 19 to do that. Game shot. Are you going to remind him, Peter? Tickle his belly like you did at Ali Pally. <laughs> that's not Dan finding the joke for you. That's me tickling his belly. 139. Playful banter that will turn nasty as the evening goes on. Inevitably but some start to this final, which is kind of what we expected and what we hoped for. Gowin Price has already made a final on one of these, and he was denied by mind-blowingly good stuff from Nathan Aspinall, who was on the crest of a wave. 180. Well, his run of losing to the player that wins the tournament is either going to continue or he's going to win it himself. In each of the three events that he's played on the floor this year, he's lost to eventual winners 100. Gary Anderson, Aspinall and Ryan Searle at various stages of the tournament. 81. You could say he's lucky to be in this final, however, having survived four darts to be beaten by Steve Lennon, who you'd have to have a heart of stone not to feel for. How many 180s did he hit in that game? Ten in that Six. semi-final, yes. He's at 24, more than anyone today, although Peter Wright is likely to surpass that in this match. As Price looks at double top. 61. Now, he had a bit of bother with that in the semi-final. A lot of his darts were going low. But he will persevere. It's very rare he goes anywhere else. And all well, these four doubles that he, re he ends up on, really, isn't it? 104. Tops, tens, fives, and then now and again, double 12. Game shot. And he pops tops for the first time and levels up. Well, Peter Wright, of course, this year played in the World Championship final, beat Michael Van Gerwen. Played in the Masters final, beat Michael Smith, although that was a, a close run thing as Peter Wright hits his first 180 of the final and his 22nd of today. 100. But the last final that he lost was the final of the Grand Slam of Darts, and it was perhaps the most dominant display of a final we saw all last year. Gowen Price winning it comfortably as Peter Wright comfortably fires in five perfect darts. 140. Here we have had a nine dart leg, the tenth across all tours this year in the PDC. And that was by 59. Steve Lennon in a match against Kai Fan Lung. And a game in which he'd gone off 180, 180 in the previous leg as well. Yeah, two legs there. Steve Lennon, 180, 180, ton. Left on 41, didn't go out. And 180, 180, 141 out, nine data. Yeah, massive credit he comes away from today with. Massive credit as well to Devon Peterson. 59. Beaten in his first semi-final in the PDC. Well, this is what makes it so fascinating. 
because we've got Peter Wright playing arguably the best darts in the world. Game shot. As he produces another 11 dart leg on double eight to go 2 1 up. We've got the likes of Gerwin Price, who 80. they've just carried on from last year playing really, really top level stuff. Len Durrance in there as well. But Michael Van Gerwen and Gary Anderson playing with a point to prove. And then other players who are stepping up and reaching heights they've not reached before. The likes of Devon, the likes of Steve Lennon. One We know they've got talent, but they're, they're not making it easy for these established names. Ryan Searle winning his first title, of course. 180. 180. By Wright, responded to in kind by Price. In the last leg, we saw Wright toss in five consecutive perfect darts. He's done that again. 140. I'm not sure he had much to work with in that particular bed. 140. There has only been one match where Peter Wright has dipped below that three-figure average mark. That was against Durant in the quarterfinals. Still won it very, very comfortably. Well, that's it, isn't it? There's only... Uh, Ryan Joyce managed to get three legs off him and lose. And Devin Peterson got close. But Price, to level this up with a 101. Right, he's already taken out that 98. Come on. Game shot. Fired up, Gerwin Price. As you probably would be when you're averaging 114, it's only good enough for two all because your opponent's averaging near 130. One yeah, let out a roar there, Gerwin Price. You're not really supposed to on the floor, but I don't think it matters as much in a final. There's nobody else playing. That's the reason for it, isn't it, that you don't 100. put off other players. I'm all for it in the final. Well, he wouldn't be the first one to make it a song and dance of things, would he? I mean, I remember the Christoph Ratajski adrian Lewis game was fabulous for 140. Him. Now, this is an interesting little story as well, isn't it, between Wright and Price? Because as you mentioned at the start of it, we were sort of pals going into that World Championship match. It turned a little bit heated, and Price actually in the end admitted that Wright had won the, the tactical mind game. But they've been sort of friends ever, ever since. It's just as likely to, to explode here, isn't it? Or even explode on Thursday night in the Premier League, because that can happen in the heat of battle. Yeah, I mean, they will play each other in in Dublin on Thursday in the Premier League but here as well the, it matters of course it matters right looking for another 11 data game shot he has won three legs and they've all been 11 darters this is absolutely mind blowing but you cannot take this out of Gerwin Price's game this is who he is this is how he plays the game this is why when he was on that effectively a suspended sentence when the DRA started wading in and throwing enormous fines around then had to admit they got it wrong and halved it 140 they you know he, he said i can't stop being me and he was completely right to because look what he's done people were talking about him last year as being the best player in the world there was a debate certainly being had about it well let's have the debate now shall we dan who is the best player in the world well i've said already today that i think peter wright is playing the best arts in the world i think there was a little spell last year last summer around the world match play where Peter Wright won three titles in a row, including two of these back-to-back -back in a World Series event, where well, I think he was the best player on the planet. But right now, I think Peter Wright is playing just like that. Arguably a little 134. bit better. Well, I agree, so debate over. OK, thanks. But yeah, he's statistically producing the best stuff. He's got the two, two TV titles of the year under his belt, as in the World Championship and the Masters. Hard to argue. Price looks for double 18 Game to level shot. up. Three, three, 127 plays 117 in the averages. We have had three 11 darters for Peter Wright, an 11, a 12, and a 13 for Gerwin Price. At the moment, the average winning leg is coming in 11 and a half darts. 140. That's about 120 average. Well, look, it's perhaps not even at the halfway mark, this final, but if the standard continues as it is, not only could we see Peter Wright smash that record broadcast average, we could also see the highest average ever recorded 
from the two players combined. Well, look, we're not even, neither player is halfway to victory here. One of them will be halfway to victory at the end of this leg. One hundred and forty. And going price, as ridiculous as it sounds, may hold the advantage. Oh, is it slipping away? Fifty eight. It is. One hundred and forty. One hundred and forty. Double sixteen. I think that's the first dart at double he's missed. Quickly followed by the second. No score. And the third. And in a game of so few mistakes. Gerwin Price must capitalise. Double six to do just that. 60. And you can see the unleashing of anger at himself there from Price. He knew that there was a chance, a rare chance afforded by Wright, who can't get any closer without hitting that. Game shot. And was clever there, just decided to go to a different part of the... The double pinpoint precision in the end. 135. Yeah, I, I do think that that's been, that's been the feature. When Peter Wright has been playing his best stuff, you can see him not just aim for beds, he's going for specific bits of it. He's one of the most stubborn players on treble 20, although he's just switched down around the board there because he's blocked it. But he's able to do that because he's not just throwing it in the general direction. He's looking at exact little points. Well, that must be one of the most frustrating things about this game. You can be really, really close and actually make it harder for yourself. And that's what Wright did there, but he made the decision to, instead of just kind of chucking there and hoping it deflects in, which a lot of players 58. do, he's gone, well, I've probably blocked the top half of the bed, so let's look at the bottom. Well, seven legs in. Every 55. single one of them has been a break of throw. Uh, been a hold of throw. I beg your pardon. The opportunities to break have been few and far between. 140. 59. Well, there may be an opportunity 83. coming Peter Wright's way here. Price will look at the 18s to leave his favourite double. 93. He has given Wright that chance, but the last start just slipping into the treble one has made it a more difficult chance. Treble 19 would leave the bull for 127 and game. Oof, well, missed it by a distance. Two tens. Game shot. And you may have just heard Gerwin Price again greet the double with a little release of emotion. Just getting himself going. It is four apiece. In this race to eight legs. Wright has been so strong on his own throwing it. 140. Once again, kicks off with a big, big visit. 134. You go back to 2016 when Gerwin Price was very, very new to the tour. Won a couple of titles. He beat Peter Wright in the final of one of them. Obviously beat him in the final of the Grand 100. Slam. 100. Last year retaining that title, and Peter Wright, his first big TV title, came beating Gerwin Price in the final of the UK. And then had some significant clashes. Yeah, it's personally significant, as well as significant because there are some big, big tournaments in there. But at the moment, they're both averaging in that sort of 110, 110. 57. And if they carry on in this vein, then this is going to be significant. 
as being a record-breaking final on what may well be a record-breaking day of Pro Tour darts. 76. Well, that hurts. That really hurts. Got the numbers right. The dart looked in the right area, but it's come off the metal. One hundred and forty. Peter Wright showing no sympathy. Piles in a one forty to bookend the scoring phase of this 90. leg. This is what Peter Wright does. Produces these kind of finishes at these kind of moments. Forty-eight Not on this occasion, and now there is a chance for Price to pick his pocket and break his throat. Yeah, bull first dart. He was looking at 25 tops tops, but this is even better. Just the one tops required. 65. But you saw the wire move. For the pair of them, there might be the types of chances that they're going to get. They might in be the front. only types of chances that they're going to get to break. Well, the main opportunities for a break of throw have come for Gerwin Price. 81. He may have trailed in the averages all the way through this game, but the big moments, the chances to break the throw, he's had to miss a couple of darts in that seventh leg. He's missed a dart there 57. in the ninth leg. 180. Peter Wright was certainly much more dominant in the early part of this match. It's tailed off a little bit, and that is been very, very critical 100. to use that kind of description. But Price is carving out more opportunities. And it's a very, very interesting, intriguing game of cat and mouse now here. Well, you could see 96. Wright versus Price in the final of some big, big events right the way through this year with the way that they've started this year, the Game way top. they're playing right now. It is another fabulous leg of darts, and both men are averaging just shy of 110. Yeah, Price has turned to add an 11 data to this final. 100. What a final it is. The quality we expected and the drama may be about 60. to unfold. We said it would be close. It is. It's excellent. And I'm none the wiser to which way it's going to go. Well, he doesn't need a break of throw, Peter Wright. He just needs 91. to keep holding. But it's easier said than done. He has only had the one dart to break going for us. That was that bullseye that he missed for 127 in game. I just kind of want to see it go to a last leg decider. Saw that happen last week on Sunday, didn't we, between Ian White and Christoph Rutajski, and that did not disappoint. There we had some fabulous drama in that one. 134. Peter Wright, of course, finally getting to a final on the floor this year, having gone to the quarters four times and converting that to semis twice. Did he go for the bull here? What are you thinking, Peter? 138. He's just thinking about winning the leg and keeping the advantage. I think that probably suggests that Peter Wright knows 134. how much of a battle this is. But it also suggests, as you suggested earlier in the match, Dan, that him, it's Game important shot. to him to pick up a title on the floor. Absolutely. Look, he, he, he said on Thursday night in Cardiff, having beaten Rob Cross, he feels he can win everything this year. He, he fe he's never felt better. Winning the World Championship, we, we knew it could go one or two ways, couldn't it? He could be imbued with confidence and go to another level, which seems to be what's happened. Or he could go, oh, like a big sigh of relief. I've won that. And then maybe he tails off a bit. It's like he has a breather, but not a th not a word of that. What Just was it? Wants it. What was interesting in the 97. aftermath of that world final? He immediately kind of absolved himself of any pressure, and in doing that, put it all on the shoulders of Michael Van Gerwen, the world number one who'd lost that final. 96. And here is Peter Wright, who's produced the best darts of the year all year, 
looking to pick up his third title, including that one on New 95. Year's Day, the big one. And Michael Van Gerwen in 2020 yet to win one. And for the first time, if he doesn't pick up the title tomorrow, MVG could go two months into a season without winning a title for the first time in nine years. Well, a guy who is used to winning about 50% of the tournaments he plays, and when he's on form, about 60%. 89. What has he won? None out of eight. No, none out of seven so far. All right, winning the battle on and off the hockey against MVG so far. Is he going to win the battle on the hockey against Gerwin Price? He's going to apply some pressure here, but it's not often that Price would not get rid of this. Game shot. 6-6. Six, six, 12 consecutive holds of throw. Three more, and Peter Wright wins this. Price needs a break. Time is running out. He's averaging 109. Has still not managed to get ahead in this match at any point. Well, the grimace from Gerwin there suggests that he thinks he might have had to hit a nine data to break the throw. Such is the quality of Peter Wright in this match. 140. One hundred and thirty four. One hundred. Well, whatever happens, whoever walks away with a title and a ten thousand pounds in ranking money. I have underlined that when you're talking, you're 95. having a discussion about who the best player in the world is right now, you have to include these two men. You have to. Treble 20. Double 18. 103. Well, it's a miss, but it's a miss at a time when Price is a long way back on a big outshot, which he's not going to threaten. 93. He has had a couple of moments when he's missed doubles and clutches, Peter Wright. Game but shot. he does not miss here. Double nine is there. One up, one away. From his first Pro Tour title of the year, his third in total. 134. And it brings him closer to 30 PDC titles, if he can get over the line. Well, that's a perfect start. Failed to follow, but... 140. It has been holds a throw all the way through this final. And Peter Wright knows that even if he doesn't win this leg, 100. he will have the advantage in the decider. Well, if this was their Premier League meeting on Thursday, it would have ended with a draw. That is not an option here today. He's become 100. the master of the draw, Gerwin Price, in the Premier League over the last couple of seasons. 97. Now, can Wright leave himself a finish? That's a frustrating one. Again, we're going to see him stubbornly stay on that treble 20. Can he find a well, Surely look at the 17s. 91. Wonderful stuff. Well, the biggest finish of them all could have a big say in this final. Price fails to get a dart. 130. Can Wright get a dart? Can Wright win it with the biggest of the lots? Behave, Peter to cap the most incredible day of darts. Bullseye. And Peter Wright the pins the big fish, the 170, to win the final. A maximum checkout in the final, a maximum checkout to win the final. And Peter Wright has picked up his first title on the floor, his first floor title as world champion, as Masters champion. And what a way to do it. An incredible final, 8-6 in the end for the world number two over the world number three Gerwin Price to himself averaged 109 right 110 and sealed the deal with a 170 Peter Wright is wiping the floor with everybody in 2020 let's hear from him now with Dan <laughs> come here and tell us all about it
Peter that today you have averaged 109.6. Gersie's yeah. averaged 109 in the final. You've won it with a 170. You've averaged well, about 107 <laughs> for the day. That's probably one of the highest standard days of darts we've ever seen on the Pro Tour, isn't it? I think my last one when I, I won the double header or something, I had 104. So yeah, yeah, I was disappointed. I had a 95 today. I was, I, I woke up at four o'clock this morning. I was just laying there awake, going right. I'm going. Every every game's going to be over 100 average today. And I set myself that target today, and every and I'm disappointed. I got 95. Most of your games <laughs> are over 105. I mean, this when you were playing Adrian Gray. And if it hit tops, that oh, would have been a new oh, broadcast oh, record, oh, breaking gutted. your previous one. Gutted. The first thing you did, you, you pointed it and you were frustrated, weren't you? Because oh, you so want to break records. Exactly. I, was, I, said, I said I'm going to break records with these darts. And when I get comfortable, you know, people watch out because I'm not even started yet. <laughs> you are pretty comfortable right now, Peter. Like you, you no, can't, no, no, people no, can't no, do no, that unless they're comfortable. No, no, no. We've got, we got uh, uh, myself and Red Rang, we've got something down the pipe, pipeline that going to improve my darts even more so you said this, on thursday this is the start this, this is the state you, you said on thursday you're feeling better than ever that you're yep. feeling so confident that you can i think your exact words one were i can win everything yeah. you've made at least the quarters in every proto event two semi-finals now you've won one yeah. you won the worlds you won the masters uk opens next on the list but i mean but you look at my uh, if you just look back uh, from the say the players' championships, uh, the core, uh, then core finals. I think I've only had about five or six that is below a hundred, mm. uh, and all the averages. And uh, some of them were like 98 and 99. So, but there's only three players who've ever won ten or more titles in a calendar year in PDC darts. You did it back in 2017. How many could you win this year? I don't know. So you just got to take one leg at a time. You can't say I'm going to do this and do I'm going to do that. Uh, but I, you know, I'm, I'm enjoying these darts. Darts are, you know, uh, are getting there. They're getting there. You, I mean, I know you must be. You must just want to be playing all the time because you're winning and winning and playing top yeah. level stuff. Yeah. But I with something in the eye all the way through that match and threw my head in. It's you still managed to it. managed to have a hundred and ten with one eye. Shot. One eye. <laughs> do you at some point have to think right? The, it's busy. I'm I'm world champ. I'm in all these World Series events. I'm all the Euro tours. You turn up to the vast majority of mm -hmm. those. Do you think I'm if I'm going to keep this going, I'm going to have to pick and choose times when I have no, a rest, no, no, or you, you just you keep on going? You've got to keep on going. You you need the match practice. You need uh, these uh, all these other guys pushing you. They want to beat you. They want to be the world champion. They want to beat the person who's won that tournament. Uh, they you know they want to beat you. So. You've got to be on your game, and it's no good going down have a holiday I and mean, coming back. They've they've improved, and you sort of step back. So you need to be going to all these tournaments. Do you think? I mean, just on today, not just yourself, but loads of massive averages. Devon was averaging 102 for the tournament. Steve Lennon missed darts of each final. He was averaging around about that for yeah. the whole day. It's not just the, the yeah. It's not just the established no, no, names no, no, who are throwing no. those big numbers. Everyone's everyone's put the practice in. You know the the money's out there. They've seen uh, uh, was it David and Goliath? You know, beat the world champion. You know, uh, and I think I've given else everyone else that belief. They can do it as well. I think you know the little man can win the big stuff as well. The little man, absolute nonsense. <laughs> he has just averaged, I think it's probably around 106 mark for the day. That, I believe, is a record since we had Dark Connect introduced. Absolutely stunning. Won it with a 170. Peter Wright's first Pro Tour title of the year to add to the Masters and the World Championship. And he says he's not going to stop. So you see him here tomorrow in Wigan for Players' Championship 6.